Okay. Now this is a um, um, uh, now I want to talk to you about this is a plug key. I want to talk to you about how to place a wire. Now you get these and uh, here our Ishuriaka very nicely she, uh, um, she you know she winds this around a, a piece of pencil uh, pencil or a, a, she has usually has a, a long uh, iron piece and then she winds it around and keeps so all the wires that you get are like this they are actually quite very long but she gives it like this so that we can now pull this to any desired length that we want so we don't have too much wire cluttering our setup so that's how she does all the wires in fact these are all there this is how all the wires will be given to you okay so and uh, many of the children find it very very uh, soothing after their experiment to you know before the wire they'll pull it this out all the way there it's a very very long it's a rather long wire they pull it out during the experiment for whatever requirement when the experiment is over they find a lot of happiness in just sitting and then just you know putting them all back in place like that over their pencil so anyway that whether you do that or not is immaterial now the question is how do you connect a wire to any terminal it could be this one or it could even be this one. so this has to be very carefully observed and very carefully understood so this is how you do first thing you have to remember is that on this wire this is the copper piece right as you can see this is the copper piece maybe I should put this in the background so you can see what we are doing clearly right yeah so now you can see it clearly so this is the copper piece and this is cloth and this cloth is tapered around it at different layers see can you see this is one layer I've taken that off and then there's a second layer here all right second layer here inside and they actually if you just twist them around they they just come off they just come off now it's very important that these these pieces of cloth don't get in between this between the between the wire and the where you're connecting it, the terminals right it could unnecessarily affect your reading so you don't want that that's point number one point number two and I cannot cannot stress this enough when you are uh, when you are connecting this you want to go from your left side to your right side in a clockwise direction you want to go you want to go from the left to the right in a clockwise direction why is that because you tighten it in the clockwise direction so when you reach here and you tighten it when you tighten it there see what happened when I tightened it the whole this thing came loose I don't want you to freak out hold this with your thumb underneath open this up take the wire away and just tighten this a little bit that's it just tighten that okay let me put that back in so put this in right and by the way if that connection is loose you're going to have trouble with your readings okay sometimes if you cannot do it with your hand you can use a pliers you can ask uh, Ishuri Akash will give you a pliers to get that done so now there that I've tightened this nicely now now this is a now this you don't want this to get in the way so you can take a scissors and cut this off right for now I'm going to leave it so you see now it's nice and tight okay then another mistake that students do is this that you take this here and then you go round and round and round and round you don't want to do that in fact that's that's you don't want to do that for several reasons one is that see there the piece snapped off that's one reason you don't want to for it to snap off and then taking it disconnecting it is very difficult the other reason is when you have so many wires when you turn it around again like I said one this can this can go in and cut the wire that's one thing the other thing that can happen is it can be loose so sometimes you don't you get fluctuations in your reading so you don't want that so best way to do this is you want this wire to be flat like this you want this wire to be flat like this so when I close this in when I close this in all that happens is that this thing goes flat and touches that neat nice and neat you in fact you don't even have to make a full circle you just have to go from one end to the other and remember it has to be going clockwise why if you put it anti-clockwise when you tighten it clockwise at the end when you reach you will see that it will it will come off so you don't want that also so you want to make sure that it is happening only clockwise so start from one end go all the way it's go straight twist it 180 degrees that's it and leave it like that and then just tighten that end okay of course again can you see that's coming loose again yeah this is quite a bit of a problem uh, maybe I should add some self-adjusting uh, 
what do you say i should add some self adjusting um, washers there i should think about that in the future anyway so that is that that's how uh, this one so the connections make again i will just say that again connection open this up this doesn't have to come all the way out okay you can go that in right this can be here take the wire it should be long enough just slide it into this bit here can you see the just slide it in go around 180 degrees and that that's it i'm sorry this thing keeps coming off it shouldn't be the bottom one keeps coming off maybe i should use another key for my next demo anyway so that's it just tighten that yeah or the other way is that i can screw in fact let me do that i can screw this in from the bottom and that's it there it's tight down that's nice and tight that's a good connection okay of course don't make sure that this cloth doesn't get inside their cloth is just outside if you can see right so that's a good connection now this is here what about these what about these other connections wait mm. what about these these fellows these terminals let me change the camera a little bit there look at that this also same story can you see you can now many students there is a hole here if you can see there's a hole there on that can you see that many students put the wire through that hole that's not advised because when you tighten this right this thing will go and cut that wire so don't do that in fact what you must do is this you should just like we did the previous one right open this up put this through clockwise don't forget clockwise always anyway this won't have the problem of that bottom one loosening up and just tighten it there there you go nice and tight it won't come off you'll have no problem at all that's that's a good connection right that's how you make your connection with wires well there is another kind of wire that we have this is called the banana cable i'll show you these are very very convenient this is how they look well how convenient are they you well just go and just shove it into this that's it that the connection is made but the only problem is you cannot connect that into these fellows you cannot do that but if you look at your resistance box say for instance that's very easy there you go. so this way your red to red will also be uh, will also be correct and then you can take there's a you, there's a black one also you can put the black one in and this one this is very very simple this is called a banana uh, i think it's called a banana cable i don't remember what it's called it has a it has a slight uh, if you let me focus here hold on ah can you see there's a slight dent here which go, it's it's a flexible thing so it goes in and then grips it tight so you have both these so i'll probably use this for my demos but remember for your exam i will give you this and this so i want you to you learn to use both all right okay this video has been long enough already